I have encountered hundreds of such I have encountered hundreds of antique Japanese tsubas since I started EI training in Dojo. And I realized I've never met the tsuba with shiny metal color. Instead of that, all tsubas are rusted. But don't you think that's strange? Rust is definitely a not good thing, as it causes iron or steel to decay and lose their durability. But why the rust on tsuba wasn't removed? Today I'm going to share my ideas on why Japanese tsubas are rusted from the scientific point of view. Hi, this is Hito from Samurai Tavern. In this channel, we will share scientific knowledge of samurai culture and exciting facts related to traditional Japanese practice. If you are interested in learning Japanese culture one or two steps deeper, be sure to subscribe for more contents. To grow our community, we are aiming to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Do you know what is the most common material for Japanese tsubas? Yes, steel. Tsuba act as a shield to protect our hands. The steel is very hard and also ductile. Therefore, most of the Japanese tsubas are made of steel since over a thousand years ago. I think some of you have never seen an antique Japanese tsubas, so I prepared some of my collections today. Here it is. This is from Edo period, which is 200 to 400 years ago. The surface is decorated with gold, copper, and silver and the copper alloy called shakudo it's a pretty beautiful the material is steel in a good sound but it's a brownish color i think these are made in a sengoku period the material is steel and it looks brownish and black color. As you can see right now, all of them look dark black to brown color because of the rust. If you look at them from the distance, you may not even realize they are made of steel. All of these tsubas are actually very old one, but why they have rust on the surface is not because they are very old. The tsuba craftsman intentionally put the rust on it. Huh? Why? This is to protect tsuba from rusting or corrosion. The rust also make a beautiful effect on tsubas, but I will talk about it in other videos. Tsuba is a part that is relatively easy to be rusted because it is touched a lot and our hands are sweat and watery. To prevent the sword from dropping like this, we hold the Japanese soles like this. If tsuba is beautifully polished like a Japanese sword blade, it is definitely gonna get rusted so quick. But why rust can protect tsuba from corrosion? Before I explain this, we should know what is the rust. When iron is rusted, first iron atoms lose electrons and become ions. And the iron ions react with negative iron, such as oxygen iron or hydroxide iron and make a precipitate that is called rust. For forming the rust, the iron itself has to be consumed because it is turned into the rust together with the other elements. By the way, as corrosion proceed, the iron or steel product gets smaller and smaller and it will break easily. This is why people hate rust. Why rust is so important for tsubas? After knowing the mechanism of corrosion, you will understand why rust can protect tsubas. Corrosion is caused by the continuous oxidation of metals or rust formation and there are two important conditions that is necessary for corrosion. First, there should be water. Iron should be wet or be in high humidity condition because H2O can make bond with ionized iron and can keep it as stable form. Second, there should be something that receives electron. It is usually water and oxygen. When iron atoms become iron, they lose their electrons. But where do the electrons go? The electrons are received by the H2O and O2 and form the hydroxide iron. Moreover, as you know, iron conducts electricity, so the reaction occurs everywhere on the surface of the steel or iron. When the environment meets a suitable condition, a part of the iron starts to dissolve in water, and this accelerates the reaction. 
because the dissolved part of the iron has more surface area for the reaction. After both iron iron and hydroxide iron increases, they react with each other and make a precipitate or rust. The location of iron dissolution and rust generation is different. Iron can dissolve continuously. This is the mechanism of corrosion. The structure of the rust looks like it has completely covered the iron, but if you observe by microscope, there are many small paths to the iron surface. To prevent further corrosion, those holes have to be completely covered so that the iron below could be shielded from oxygen and water. I think you already know how to prevent tsuba from corrosion. By completely covering the tsuba with the rust and prevent water and oxygen from being supplied to the surface of the iron, the rust cannot consume iron deeper. There are many products made of steel protected from the rust with the same idea, such as pans and kettles. But making the rust evenly on the surface of the tsuba is not very easy. Next time I will show you how people in ancient time put the rust on tsubas and ponder its mechanism. How do you like today's contents? If you like this video, please press the like and subscription button and share your comment. Thanks for watching. We are very happy if you'll have more fun with Japanese cultures. We will continue to share our unique videos. Please subscribe to our channel and see you next time.